In this session, I want to show you how we use smart knobs to control parameters from within structure very easily and very quickly as they appear here on the main screen of the structure plugin. What I can do, for example, is I can take a filter and the way I assign it to a smart knob is very quick. I literally find what I want to assign, I right mouse click and I click assign smart knob and I choose the one I want to take it to. It's as simple as that. Let's try another one. Let's try the envelope depth. There we go. How about the envelope attack? And we just keep doing that. I'm going to go back to part here and I'm going to change the sample start time. I'm going to assign that to smart knob 4. If at any time the, the name gets a bit unworldly and a bit big, you can just double click on it and you can just decide which part you want to show. And there we go. Just literally double click and set it. Now if I grab a smart knob now and move it, you'll see what happens. Very, very, very cool. Let's assign a couple more. Let's take a reverb, our reverb plugin. And that's one I'd like to control from the front panel. So I'm going to control the reverb time, smart knob 5, and the mix smart knob 6. As you can see they're all controlled there now. What makes it even more exciting is this. What I can then do is I can assign these smart knobs to keyboards on my keyboard controller. Again it's as simple as right mouse clicking, learn MIDI CC and turning my controller. Let's do that to the filter depth as well. Learn MIDI CC and just keep doing it on my controller. Just choosing each one as I go. So you see how quick it is just to assign them. If for any reason you want to unassign either controllers that are controlled from the keyboard or controllers from within structure itself, then that's dead simple too. It's a simple right mouse click and we can learn a new one. Let's first learn that again. Then to unlearn it we just go unassign all and now it's not controlled from my keyboard anymore. What I actually unassign cutoff frequency from the smart knob itself is I go back to the setting it was on, filter, right mouse click and unassign all. And filter is now not controlled by that anymore. And I could reassign it to, let's say, Resonance. And now Resonance is the controller that it's a controlling. And again, learn MIDI CC. And now my Resonance. They're even more powerful than that because what I can actually do is what I could say is I want assigned as well is cut off frequency and resonance to the same controller. Now that may seem like a really odd thing to do. It would be odd if you couldn't actually then have control over the way that the smart knob controls them. But let me show you what you can do. I can say to resonance I actually want that to be in reverse and I just hit that button there now and as that goes up that comes down and as that goes down that comes up which is more likely to happen with cut off and resonance. We can go further as well. We can assign how far it works within its parameter. At the moment, absolute. So as I move this, this will now only move within a certain certain range. As you can see, it stops there. Now what I actually want to do is take the range the other way. So I literally just mouse click on it again and move it that way and turn that down there. And I've got a range now where resonance will move within smart knob one. As you can see, it's much smaller. So it's a case of experimenting until you find the one that works for you. So I'm going to push that back up and push that back up. Now we should be getting somewhere close to how I want it to be. There we go. It's getting closer. Because what I want it to do, I want resonance to be up here when cutoff is there. So we just need to do some more adjustments for a moment. It won't take a second. We want it to be at 90. We don't want to go any higher than that. So we're going to go about 86. As you can see, as it comes down, it's never going to go any higher than that which is really, really cool. Now you can make it either absolute or switched or relative. That's really helpful sometimes when you're doing things like drum sounds. If 
very cool. So that's how we can assign smart knobs, and we can assign them in multiples, and we can assign them to CC numbers on your MIDI keyboard.